Growing up in Quebec, the word Vachon was not synonymous with quality. And I found a Vachon that is synonymous with quality. Of course, we're talking about Noah Vachon today. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Franco Allo, and today we will be unboxing and doing a bit of a first impressions review on a brand new knife that I just added to my collection, a Noah Vachon 6-inch utility knife made out of nitro V steel with a Shusugi Ban curly maple handle and hammered brass. Now, for those of you out there who are like, Frankie, what is Nitro V? That's a great question because I had no idea until I bought this knife from him, which is one of the reasons I bought the knife to begin with. Reason one was I wanted a new steel that I could test, and reason two was because I absolutely love the Shusugi Ban handle. So Nitro V, think of it as a derivative of AEBL. Essentially, Nitro V, like AEBL, has similar metallurgical composition, but it has some added vanadium and nitrogen. Essentially, what that means is it just has better wear resistance. It apparently performs best between a HRC of 58 to 60, but as we know at HRC, those are not all godly defined terms. So, without further ado, what do you say we go straight into this 90 second unboxing of this utility knife and come back and talk about the knife a little bit? See you soon. All right, boys and girls, so what do you think of this knife? Now I can tell you that I did say there were two reasons that I really wanted to add it to my collection, but really there's always a variety of reasons, not just two. In fact, reason one was a little bit like the intro to this video, Vachon is synonymous with quality. Noah Vachon, not the treats and pastries from Quebec. I've always wanted a Noah Vachon knife. Based on what I saw on the internet, it would appear that he puts a great amount of effort into the quality, the craftsmanship, the fit and finish of his knives. And when I saw this one, I was just absolutely sold on the Shusugi Ban handle. I like the shape. I know he calls this a utility knife, um, but coming more from a Japanese kitchen knife world realm, if you ask me, this is a Honest Petty, right? It's not just a Kate Petty. It really has almost that right angle triangle feel of a honuske. Now I know it's not a honuske. Uh, of course we can just go ahead and if we want to kind of tie it into Japanese kitchen knife terms call it a petty. Really it's a sandwich knife. That's what I call the very first petty I ever had or got the 150 millimeter classic shun petty. They also told me back then 20 years ago they call it a sandwich knife. So we would use this knife for anything that you would need to make a sandwich. Slice some tomatoes, slice some lettuce, slice open your bread, slice a bit of salami. This is a great size and profile for that. And of course, you can see here on screen what the blade profile looks like. You can definitely rock with it a little bit. It has a nice sharp tip that you can use for garlic, and it has a very sharp heel. Now, one of the first things that I noticed when I received this knife is it's just impeccable. Everything is so clean like this Frank Wallow white shirt. Shout out to my white shirt for being so clean. Yeah, everything is just so clean. The lines, the Shusugi band, like when you stare really closely, the distance between the torch marks as he kind of like pans left to right and moves up and down, 
it just it's like equidistant it's almost perfect if i were to take a ruler i feel like each band is the same height it's the same level of darkness there's the same level of lightness the hammered brass cap again it's just it's it's impeccable there's no gaps uh, you can't see the adhesive you know where the adhesive is to hold those two pieces together but everything is so clean the brush marks everything looks like it's the same depth of perforation just such a great amount of detail and attention to detail in a knife that was super reasonably priced for this type of quality for fit and finish when i received this knife it almost felt too perfect like it was a mass-produced knife again i will have a video for that eventually where we talk about differences handmade versus factory made factory made does not need to be synonymous with poor quality that's not true it just means that there's more quantity being produced but with the right technology the right care you can still get this huge consistency that sometimes you don't get out of handmade knives however contrary to the stigma behind factory made this knife has factory made feel to me and now you know exactly what i mean because i'm not talking about the negative connotations i mean just the attention to detail how everything is just so perfect like it was machined by someone who really cares and you know what holding this i feel that noah really cares about his work now this is a man if you don't know the history of noah vachon essentially he grew up in the city and based on i think what i read on the internet he then moved to the countryside to have a bit of a quieter life and that's where he really picked up blacksmithing and kitchen knife smithing to create these wonderful works of art so that move for him as a life goal as a career path really paid off now prior to this video you might know noah vachon as the maker of handmade kitchen knives a man who does these in a shed in the countryside but since i've received this knife i think noah vachon now is also going to be known for his little little knives right that's all it takes one story on the internet it goes a little bit viral everyone wants these mini knives that he now makes so you might actually have come to this video thinking you know Noah Vachon, the maker of the small kitchen knives that he's been selling over the past few weeks. So without further ado, my impressions on the fit and finish of the knife are absolutely fabulous. And now we're going to dive straight into the food demo. You're going to see that this knife is so sharp out of the box that I was able to shave the hair on my arm. I always really like the ASMR of a sharp knife shaving one's arm i should probably mention at this point too that i did ask for a custom sharpening job and so yes uh, i am very impressed with this knife it slid through the cherry tomato test like it was nobody's business it shaved the hair off my arm like it was nobody's business it went through a piece of guanciale which is super thick and fatty and just wants to adhere together because of the fat and because of all the water in the fat it went through that like it was nobody's business it supremed an orange really well. I had a bit of difficulty supreming the orange, quite honestly, mainly because of the shape, because of the curvature. I ended up either taking too much or too little, but that's a fault of the user, not a fault of the knife, because the point is it still went through the orange very, very easily. Great for slicing garlic, just a really lovely size, like 150 millimeter patties utility knives are really underrated. Noah did a great job at essentially creating something that's familiar to me, but a little different spin to it, with it being a bit of a honest petty, in my opinion. The handle is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, you all know how I obsess over handles, and maybe I obsess too much over handles compared to some, but people mainly just focus on the blade, and so maybe that's my opposite approach to balance the forces of the earth, to say the handle is also important, because this is called the build. We don't just buy knives because of the blade or the handle or the name on the blade. We buy them because everything's a story, because there's a purpose to them, because we're at home making homemade food, keeping us healthy, keeping us out of bars, maybe for some of you. And sure, sometimes it's a lot of money and we have collections of close to 60, like behind the camera. But to me, these mean a lot. It means a lot to the people that I cook for. I get to tell them about the story of these knives. So Noah, thank you for bringing all of those kind of memories, all of those reasons for my, my night, my reason for being back to the surface. Absolutely fantastic knife. I can't wait to use this more. And guys, if you like this video, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the knife. Feel free to hit that like button, share the video, and otherwise, until next time.
some garlic ready and all that. You put your pasta in the garlic, then you put that and you put cream with some uh, with some parmigiano. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Cheers. 